Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I would like to share with you how I made this card dream just by using some of the acrylic sprays, a bit of mica spray and the new stencils. So for the background we're going to be using acrylic spray emerald green and I've just used that diagonally across the card. Then I'm going to be using cranberry red just in the opposite corners and then for a bit of shimmer I'm going to be using this beautiful bumblebee mica spray just to give your card a bit of a shimmer. Then I'm going to be using some of these fabulous new stencils. So I'm going to be using the lattice one, this beautiful dynamic one, and then words two. So we're going to be using the word dream and some stars. For stamping with, I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Nocturne and that's just for stamping Rory and blending the word dream. For the rest of the blending through the stencils I'm going to use Warm Breeze and then Monarch. For the stars I'm going to be using a white ink pad with a white Posca pen just to make the stars a little bit whiter. A Stardust glitter pen just to add some sparkle to the wings. A white Uniball pen just to do a bit of gentle highlight on Rory. And I'm also going to be using a black and a dark blue watercolour pencil just to create a bit of shadow and ground for Rory. Then I'm going to use my quickie glue pen and some of this fab foil and I'm going to use silver just to create some sparkle to the card. The only stamp I'm going to be using is Rory and the rest is stencil. So let's get started. For today's card I'm using a piece of multifarious card that is 5 inches by 7 inches. And I'm just going to give this a gentle spritz with some water. And I'm going to be using acrylic spray emerald green. So I'm just going to give this a shake and then we're just going to do this diagonally just going across our card. And then I'm going to use a little bit of cranberry red. So just give this a shake and I'm just going to do these corners. So just get that going. And then I'm going to use a little bit Bumblebee mica spray. So I need to get all of this mica mixed in. So I'm just going to shake this side to side just for all that mica to absorb into the colour. And we're just going to spritz that just randomly over our card. Just going to give this another spritz with some water. And then place a card over the top. Close my folder and then I'm just going to give this a rub just for all of that paint and spray to move around. So we're just going to give that another rub. let's see what background we've got and there we have our beautiful background so I'm just going to dab this off
two beautiful backgrounds. And now we just need to give them a good dry. So there we have our beautiful backgrounds. So if I just move this around, you'll be able to see that beautiful mica on our backgrounds. And I'm going to use this one for today's card. So this is the one that went onto the top. So I'm going to pop over the background one of the new fabulous stencils and this one's the lattice one. So I'm just going to pop that over but I'm just going to put it at a jointy angle. And to blend through, I'm going to be using VersaFine Claire Warm Freeze. So I'm just going to pop that open. Use my stencil brush and now I'm just going to blend that over this bottom right corner. So I'm just going to work in that bottom corner first. Just having a look just to see how it's going. So we're just going to get that going and then I'm going to do the top left corner. So again, just using my stencil brush and I'm just going to blend that nicely and just keep lifting up the stencil to see how it's going. So I'm just going to concentrate on this top corner. So we're starting to build up interest to our background. Now I'm going to use VersaFine Claire Monarch. And for that, I'm going to use this beautiful dynamic stencil. So I'm just going to pop that over my background. Using my stencil brush. And then we're going to blend in this top right corner. So I'm just going to pick up the ink and start to blend that through. Lifting up the stencil. Yeah. So we're just going to get that going and blending that down the sides a bit. And then we're just going to make the very corner just a little bit darker and then we're going to work on the opposite corner so the bottom left corner now so we're just going to blend that now And we're just going to bring it all into the middle, just gently. And we're just going to bring that over the lattice a little bit. So you'll see when I bring all of this down. There. Oops. There we have our beautiful background. So I have just popped Rory onto my card. And now I'm just going to ink him up in VersaFine Claire Nocturne. So I'm just going to ink him up. And stamp in. So now I'm going to be using words to stencil. 
And this is a really handy stencil with all these beautiful words and the stars on them. So I'm going to use the word dream. And I can just pop that into place. And you can just about see Rory's hand and head. So this is a good guide of where to put your word dream. Going to go back to Versafine Claire Nocturne. And just with a smoothie, I'm now going to blend through the word dream. So we're just going to ink that up. And just take your time blending over here. You want to catch all of those little corners. So you just want to take your time. And make sure you get all those little bits in all the points and everything so I'm just going to blend that all through and then when I take the stencil off we have the beautiful dream so we need to put some stars on here now so I'm still using the words to stencil and I'm going to use these two stars so I'm just going to position them over my background and I'm just going to use a white ink pad just to blend the stars. So we're just going to take our time just to get that white going. So using the white ink pad you want to take your time and make sure you get all of the points of the stars. So we're just going to get this nicely blended through. Just making sure you get all of the points nice and sharp. And then I'm going to have one more star just coming down here. So again, just using your white ink pad just to blend that all through. Yeah. And then I'm just going to give these stars a quick dry. So for my stars, I've just used my white Posca pen and all I've done is just gone round the edge and then just coloured them in. Just there. Just to make them a little bit whiter. So I'm just going to go back over just to make them a little bit whiter. And then this one here. And just by using the white Posca pen, it just makes your stars stand out a little bit more. And you can just do some random little white dots. So I'm going to use two watercolour pencils, a dark blue and a black one. So I'm going to use the dark blue first just to create a bit of ground for Rory to stand in. 
just so that he doesn't look like he's floating in midair. And then I'm going to use the black one just right close to him. So we've just got a bit more depth to the shadow. Yeah. For his wings, I'm going to be using the Stardust Glitter Pen, the clear one. And all I'm going to do is just do some random little dots just on his wings, just to create a bit of sparkle. And we can just do a few around his head. And then with a white uniball pen, I'm just going to do a bit of gentle highlighting on him. So I'm just going to draw my white lines and then just use my finger just to blend that in nicely. Just so that we get some gentle highlight on him. So if I just do a bit more and then I can show you. Yeah. More on his hand and his head. Do a bit more on his forehead, his hand. Yeah. So there's a bit of gentle highlight on him just by using your white pen and then just gently use your finger just to smudge it to blend it in. So we're going to use the Stardust Glitter Pen again and we're just going to go around the right side of the letters just to create a bit of sparkle. So we're just going to go around the right side yeah. just to create a bit of interest and some sparkle so down the word letter M yeah. So if I just lift that up, you might be able to see you might just be able to see where I have gone round in the glitter pen. Going to go back to the words to stencil where we used it for the stars. And I'm just gonna pop that back over our stars. And then I'm just going to pull this downwards and this is just going to be a guide for where I need to do some shadow. So I've got my stencil and I've popped it over my last star and again I'm just going to drag that down and that's going to give me my guide for the shadow. So I've just moved that out of the way and we can just use our black pencil just to create some shadow underneath the stars. You can just see where I've just gone round part of the star just to create some shadow just so that they look like they're off our background. So I've just finished using my heat gun just to get these glue dots sticky. And I'm going to use some of this fab foil, but I'm using the silver. So I've just cut a bit off. And all we're going to do now is just rub this over the glue dots. So we're just going to go around all over the card, just rubbing the silver foil over the glue dots. So 
So if I just move this around, you can see all of that lovely silver foil just shining with the light. So now I'm just going to do my mats and layers. So I'm going to do my white border in one sixteenth of an inch. And then my last border is going to be one eighth of an inch. So now I'm just going to glue this onto my card blank. Just going to make sure it opens the right way. Then just position my card onto the card blank. Just position it all into place. And then I'm just going to trim off the bottom part. And there we have the finished card. Thank you for joining me today. Please take care and I hopefully will see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.